And I'm L'Oreal. And we are Happily Ever Elementary. So for the last year or two, we've gotten a lot of comments and requests on our social media asking how do we make our paper flowers. We use them for our bulletin boards, our classrooms, many of the transformations we've done, and so that is what we are doing today. So in this video, you guys are going to see a step-by-step -step how to tutorial on how we put together our paper flowers. We're going to be showing you one version of a flower, and you can download the rest of our templates and a how-to guide in the description box below. The first step to making a paper flower is to trace out your templates. You're going to need six petals for each layer. Our flower today is going to have three layers. So we're going to trace our templates and then we're going to cut through three pieces of paper at a time to simplify our efforts. So these flower templates are actually a product in our Teachers Pay Teacher store. We will list the link down below. This product comes with six different types of flowers. So some that are pointed, some that are more round, some that have scalloped petals. Um, within that, there are four different size petals for each flower. This product also comes with a um, guide with step-by-step -step tutorial directions as well. So it makes it a lot easier for you to take it nice and slow if you're doing your flowers for the first time. Now that we have our outer and middle layer cut, we are going to start working on our most inner layer. You notice here that we're able to fit two of our templates onto one piece of paper. This is going to really cut down on cost and it's going to really save you time in the end. Okay, once you have six petals for each layer, you're going to take the circle from our template and you're going to cut it out. This will be what you adhere all of your petals to. Next, we're going to get our petals ready for our paper flower. The first step is we're going to need to put a fold into each one of our petals. Next, we're going to cut a small slit into the bottom about one or two inches in. Finally, we're going to roll back the edges. This is the style that we like to use for this template because it adds dimension. Now that we have beautifully shaped petals, it is time for us to assemble them. So what you're going to do is on one side of where we cut that slit, you're going to add a glue dot. Then you're going to take the other side of the petal at the bottom and pull it over that glue dot and hold it down and press. Once it's dry, it's time to glue it to our circle. That circle is going to be our base. So add a glue dot on the outside. That's because we're going to do the outside layer of petals first. Hold it down firmly until it dries and move on to the next petal. Since our outer layer is now complete, we're going to work on the middle layer. You're going to do the exact same steps we showed you before to prep your petals. Once they are ready, you're going to glue it in between the outer layer petals so that they're not overlapping. So we are finally at the inner layer. So for this flower, we chose to only do three layers. However, it's your choice. There are four sizes within our template. You could do a fourth layer and make your flower even more full. But now we're just going to repeat the steps we've already done with the other two layers to complete our flower. Now we're going to work on the center of our paper flower. We're going to show you guys one option of a center that we like to use. But stay tuned to our channel because we're going to have another video where we show different variations and different center options. So for this particular center that we are making today, we're going to fold our paper in half. You're going to cut along that fold. And then once you have your two halves, you're actually going to fold them in half again. Now we're going for a looped look. So what you're going to do is actually take your paper that is folded in half and you're going to cut small slits, probably with about quarter inch um, sections in between. And you're going to make these small slits going down the folded side as shown here. Next, you're going to start rolling your paper. 
You can add glue dots along the way if you need to secure it, but you're going to roll it all the way up and then for sure secure the end with some hot glue. Next, we're going to add the second piece with some hot glue. We're going to start where we left off by gluing it on and then just continuing to roll all the way up until you're out of paper. Once you've glued it and secured it, you're going to open up the middle by just fluffing the sides and bending them backwards. Now that the center is complete, it is time to glue it into the middle of our flower. Go ahead and just add a generous amount of hot glue and sit your flower center right on top of that and stick it down. And there you have it, a paper flower. Just remember, this is just one template design and we have many more in our products. So go ahead and check it out if you're interested in other designs and other templates to use. guide on how to put together a paper flower. Don't forget, we just shared with you one design and one template. We have many more designs and templates in our Teachers Pay Teacher store. So follow the link down below in our description box to find more. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe to our channel so we can make more videos like it. If you have ideas of other tutorials or DIY projects you'd like to see, leave us a comment down below. Um, make sure your bell notifications are on. Give this video a big thumbs up. And we, we hope, hope to see you guys soon.